Today marks the fifth anniversary of Laudato Si, Pope Francis's call to action for Catholics around the world. Published in 2015, the encyclical asks everyone to recognize the urgent need to protect our planet and calls everyone to play our part. This challenge also happens to line up with this term's touchstone, justice and solidarity, which calls us to not only stand with those who are on the margins, but with the earth itself. One easy way we can all become a little more environmentally friendly is by creating our own compost bin. Not only does it help keep food scraps out of landfill, but it produces some fantastic natural fertilizer for our gardens. So, to show us how to do it, here's Flynn Brooks. Hello, my name is Flynn Brooks, and today I'm here to show you how to do a compost bin. The first thing you need in starting your compost bin is a bucket like this. Drill some holes in the side of it for aeration to flow through. You'll also need some food scraps, this banana peel is perfect. The last materials you will need is leaves and some newspaper. When you start putting your materials in your compost bin, one quarter fill it with dirt and then put on another layer of newspaper and leaves. Once you fill up your compost bin with your leaves, newspaper and soil, the next thing you put in is your food scraps. There are some items that you should never put in your compost bin, such as dairy products, whole eggs, fats and oils, meat or fish bones, or yard trimmings with chemical pesticides. Once you've put all of your stuff in your compost bin, you need to give it a good mix. What this does, it mixes all of the materials together so it can break down properly. The things that you put in your compost bin fall under two categories. Carbon or nitrogen. Compostables that create nitrogen are referred to as green compostables. And the compostables that create carbon are referred to as brown. Some examples of green compostables are vegetable and food scraps, eggshells, and grass clippings. Brown compostables are vacuum dust and dog hair, newspaper, cardboard and shredded paper, and tea bags and coffee grounds. The next step in creating your compost bin is putting on a thin layer of dirt. What this does is it allows your compost to break down so you can use it as fertilizer on your garden. And then the last thing you do is put a bit of water in. And that's how you make your own DIY compost bin. If every Australian decided to do this, we would reduce our carbon emissions by 3%, which is more than more airplanes produce every year. If you want to take this to the next level, you can create a worm farm like Mr. Sellings has. This is a great and easy way we can do our bit to help the environment. Remember to turn your compost once to twice every week and then after 10 weeks, you can use it as fertilizer for your garden. Thank you for watching, and I hope your compost bins go well.